Hello, this is Jerry Jenkins. I'm recording a video about doing uh, animation in Python uh, with PY game. And uh, I'm also going to show you in this video how you can completely code Python and PY game and a lot of other languages without, without installing anything at all on your computer except a web browser. Uh, in fact, it's possible even to write code and run your programs on a phone. And we're going to be using a, a, a special uh, website called Replit. Let me go to it. So this is Replit, and we'll so we'll get to this. So in the meantime, let me talk about the video and the animation a little bit. So this is going to be an animation, which is going to animate a drawing a line with an arrow on the end that follows an infinity symbol which is also called a limiscape. So let me go ahead and stop this. So here's the code for it. Now I'm in PyCharm. Uh, Replit is a little clunky to develop a lot of code in, so you still might want to be an IDE like PyCharm or something else. Uh, by the way, on my video description you'll find links to how to install uh, uh, PyCharm and Python on a lot of different systems. So there's a lot of code in this and I have in my video description a link to the code and you can see the code has lots of comments for how I'm doing things and it's a total of about 70, yeah, 79 lines long so it's pretty short. Uh, so the main thing here is once you get your code working or you want to develop code uh, you can go up to Replit. And, uh, so you establish an account on Replit, which is a good thing to do because it will save you. And this is in the cloud. I'm running in the Chrome browser, but it works in most browsers. So we'll step through installing uh, some code. So we're going to say plus, and it says what language you want to use. Now for a PY game, you want to actually run a window with an animation in it or drawing. Uh, you don't just choose Python. You have to choose PY game. And if it's not listed, I'll, I'll type it, PY game. There it is. And then you give a name to your project. So I'm going to call it uh, Infinity uh, Animate. So you give it a name. Uh, now you can make your code public or not. Uh, although if you want to make it private, you have to pay for it. So they like that you just make everything public. And so we say create a REPL. And it creates an area where you can put files. This is like a little file manager. This is where you type your code. This is where you can see your output. This is the terminal output for anything your uh, program does. And we're running uh, Python 3 with PY game. So I'm going to switch to where I have the code already, select it all. And copy it, and I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to paste it in, and we have it all in here, and we're going to go ahead and hit run, and there it goes. So uh, I think you can increase the size of this window. So we can stop the code here. So there's a little problem. It, it doesn't do a big animation window. So we might have to fix that. So I'm going to do that really quick here. So in my code, uh, when I start things up, I have my size. I'm going to go back to uh, uh, 800 by 400. So I had it running on a Mac with a really high resolution. And we'll go ahead and run it again. Let me we'll give it some space here. Run. And there you can see the whole animation. So that's basically it. Now I'm going to show you a little sequence where it can run on your phone. And I'll tag that onto the end of the video. I have to actually switch things and record it. Uh, so you can actually see this on your phone. Uh, let me switch back. Now. Uh, that's probably it uh, at the 
So I'm going to also have a segment where I'll go through the code and explain it a little bit, although it's really well documented here. And uh, I'll also put a link in my video to a previous video, which is basic animation in PY game, if you haven't done that before. Uh, so there'll be quite a few links in the description of the video. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, the browser, do my REPLs, do uh, the name of my uh, code here. It's going to open it up. You'll see the code. We have to stop it from running from when we started it on the web from our desktop. And then we have to start it running again. It's going to run. You'll see the animation up here when we hit the output here. And then when we're done, we can stop it with the little stop button. And that's it. That's how you run it on a phone. Okay, now let's talk about the code a little bit. Uh, so we're going to animate a line with an arrow around a limb escape or infinity symbol. Okay, let's go through the code. Uh, so we have a, uh, I have a basic video on how to do animation. So we have a bunch of methods here which I'll come back to. Let's go to the main, which I've always put at the bottom. So if name equals main, we call animation or anim. And that's this method up here. So this is your basic uh, PY uh, game setup. So we init it and we get a clock uh, object. We set a height and width and we get a buffer to write into which is going to be written to the screen. Uh, we're going to only draw that line is only going to be a certain length and it has to move around so we're going to record uh, 50 points on the line and draw that. So I actually have a class I've set up for that so that's right up here. So the class called point history it works like a queue but it automatically pops things off when it has more than n objects. So to init the class, you uh, make an object of point history and you pass it how many uh, points you want to save. Uh, and it stores that in an array and it records, uh, these are the, ver the uh, instance variables, and it records how many to keep. So whenever you add a point, it appends it, and if the length of the, of the list gets too long, it pops off the last one. Uh, and then it returns a copy of the points. So... Uh, so that sets up the uh, uh, line points will become that object to keep track of points. Now in animations you need something that controls the animation. It's sequenced through it and we have a, actually an angle which controls the animation. It starts at zero and we're going to rotate it uh, uh, a certain amount every time. So while true, this is our animation loop, we're going to set the screen to all black. Uh, we're going to add uh, all the points uh, by calling a limb curve to uh, this this uh, queue that we've set up and that's going to be called points so limb curve is up here limb curve is a called a parametrized uh, formula for calculating X and Y given some parameter which is T which is the uh, uh, angle so you can look at the thing here, but where I got this was from this website. So let me show you that. So this is from uh, both the math world, which has lots of math information. And here's a limenscape curve. And there's a lot of ways of drawing it. So they talk about different ways of uh, writing a formula for it. But we're interested in the parametric equations, which gives you a separate equation for x and y based on some value t. So if you're ever trying to draw something in an animation that's a uh, uh, curve in XY like a spiral or something special, look for the, the parametric equation for that, for that shape you're drawing. i uh, just let you know that. Uh, so this just, just generates that formula and returns two points. And the points are returned here. Uh, separated by comma, so this actually creates a tuple, and all the points in uh, in uh, PY game work on a tuple, where you have a tuple for width and height, or X and Y position. So that's how that works. So let's go back to where we had called that. Uh, so we get the points, and then there's one thing you can draw a sequence of lines between points by calling uh, Python PY game draw lines. You give it the uh, 
the object you're going to draw into, which is the uh, screen buffer, or they call it a surface and PY game. Uh, the color you want to draw, which in this case is yellow, uh, which is all red, all green, no blue. So it looks up and creates a list of points from P and points as P0 and P1. And I think I could probably just call at, pass this points. I forget while I was doing this, I think I had originally converted them to ints. And this is the width of the line. So that draws the line. Let's try just replacing this with points. PTS. Oops. Oh, it still works. So there's a little simplification there. Uh, so then we calculate and draw the arrowhead. So the scale segment will take uh, two points, and this is uh, going from P1 to P0, and make a new uh, set of points that go from uh, uh, P1 to something, and uh, make it a certain length, and give me uh, two new points. So this, these would be two new points going from P1 to a new value AB, which would be 70 long. So it basically stretches or decreases the segment size of the last two points to be exactly this long. And that's going to become the side of the arrow. But now it's going in the direction pointing backwards is what we're doing. That's why it goes from P1 to P0. And then we rotate the point. Uh, so I have a special thing to rotate uh, the point A and B around, uh, or point B around a center, which is point A. So that's one of the endpoints. Uh, by a certain uh, angle in radians. And that's up here. So this is rotate point. Here's the scale segment. Here's the, uh, let's see, and those, those are the two things I'm using. So let's go back. And so once that gives us a left and right set of points. So then we draw those two line segments, left and right, uh, going from left and right to B0 and we draw those in yellow and that draws the arrowhead. Then we advance the uh, the uh, the thing by 1 20th of a degree in the angle or a radian I believe. We update to display which copies the uh, our, our screen buffer to the display. We set our timing to do 60 frames per second. Uh, we wait for the user to quit uh, and then we quit PY charm and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please subscribe to my channel and look for my other videos. Uh, so please go ahead and uh, sign up for my channel and thank you very much.